Under a tyranny, most friends are a liability. One quarter of them turn reasonable and become your enemies. One quarter are afraid to stop and speak. And one quarter are killed and you die with them. If the blessed final quarter keep you alive. Sinclair Lewis said that. A long time before the new millennium. A long time before everything changed. Raise your right hand and repeat after me. I do solemnly swear. I do solemnly swear that I will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States. That I will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States. And will to the best of my ability. And will to the best of my ability. Preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. Preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. My fellow citizens, four years ago, when I stood before you on these hallowed steps, we faced together the awesome task of healing the sick and weary soul of our great nation. Don't think a day has passed since then that I haven't prayed in thanks for the unity we have found in that battle. Together, we have won back our country from the talkers and the promise makers. Together, we have put the darkness of the late 90s behind us, the curfews, the economic... Didn't I tell you keep it off the streets? Did. Together, we have seen the dawn not just a new millennium, but a new So recently divided... There's kids around here, man. You gotta think about that. Clean this up. Most of the greatest of all, we have risen to last the challenge of this terrible disease. Never again will the whiners and cry babies tell us we can't protect ourselves and our children. Yet even now we must ask the Lord to tell us what sin 
And what sinners we have yet to cast out of our midst. We must ask for his help in returning to the great moral principles this country was built on, to the wellspring of our freedoms and our tradition. In this great I think battle, I got it, Blue. We must ask him got to what? put in our hearts a greater understanding of why he has stricken us with this mortal plague. You are such a drama queen, it's unbelievable. You don't know anything. Oh, my God. Remember that dance we went to? The guy with the red hair? More than anything, I am proud. Hi. DCC is growing day among our youth. And all you fine young men out there in the whole guard, I just want to say... Thanks. You want to shut your sister up for a minute? Blue. Bucky. Did your night for dinner? Honor the inauguration. All work fair reclamation center is closing one half hour early. I'm going to get tested, Blue. I'm going to go to that Operation Helping Hand place right now. What's the hurry? It's two weeks to quarterly. It's less. Hello? I think I could sleep one minute till I found out. Excuse me, can we get some help? What? What? Find out what? They've got a terminal case of hypochondria? A kilo and a half. These sores I keep getting on my mouth are not hypochondria, and neither is the way I'm always tired all the time. 1.8. Hey, there's my bus. Tell Send you a postcard from quarantine. Lori! I can't believe you would take such a chance. I had to, Blue. There was a connection between us. Well, did you call? I don't know if you were sick. All right, all right, so I didn't get his name. It's this guy, you know. Anyway, who knows if it was even him. I, I could have got breathed on on the street. Anyway, you're not always so careful, are you? Kind of hasn't been much of an issue, really, has it? Yeah, that's better. God. No big deal, all right? We're gonna get through this. Hi. You're safer at home. Don't take the test. Just get rid of it. Name, address, certificate number. After you've been called into the examination room, you will be requested to remain there until the results of the test have been determined. Blue. Come on. I would die if you weren't here with me, Blue. I would really just die. You'll be all right. Nothing like a little good news, is there? You'll be receiving a registered copy of your certificate the next day or so. Doctor, Doctor, I'm sorry to bother you again, but I've been waiting for my grandson for over six hours. Mrs. Cheney, I'm sorry, but you'll know something as soon as we do, I promise. Please, Doctor, can't you tell me when... No Keep that thing out of sight. I'm office. not stepping nowhere until I see my boy. I'm afraid that's not possible right now, Mrs. Cheney. He's sick. He's sick. He's dying. Mrs. Cheney, please, please, calm down. Please, please. Your grandson will be receiving the best care he possibly can. It's a question of public safety. Daddy. This is a medical facility. Daddy. I cannot allow you to create a disturbance. Well, we're going to get out of here right now before they come back. We can't just go. They have my name. Shit. Um, 
I figured as long as I was here, I might as well get it done, too. Name, yeah, address, right, certificate. Thanks. Okay. What are you doing with that? Security! staircase up here. Officers, officers, wait, please, don't shoot, don't shoot. They, there were two girls with, with guns. They went that way, right that way. Hey, did they rob a bank or something? Come on, come on. I can't believe that worked. Wait, wait, wait. You never saw this place. You never met me. You hear me? This never happened. Guts were spilling out and her blood was flying around. Somebody's got to clean up the trash. Too bad you missed it, Bucky. Got to do more night patrols with us, man. Anyway, enough about that. I want you to follow up on that chink over there at the laundry, man. That guy shows up late for his call at one more time. I'm going to put him on report. Yeah. Now, Payne, you still keeping an eye on that bureau character? Kind of. You know, my guess is he's clean. He hasn't been around that weird bookstore much. Yeah. I don't buy it. Stay on it. For a while. Uh, you got it. Bucky, you're up. Now, did Rocklin or did Rocklin not start that strike bullshit down at the impound place? Well, it's hard to tell anything about him. Mostly he keeps to himself, except for this guy from the grocery he goes to the movies with. Just the two of them? Yeah, at least since I've been on this. Don't <laughs> surprise me a bit. Guy's got faggot written all over him. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you think that's something the police should get into? Department of Health, they're much faster. Blue. Why don't you hang out? Why don't you stick around a little? Don't you are, Hunter? Walking advertisement for not fucking. Government ought to put you on a poster. <laughs> You have to be like that. It makes me sick just listening to you guys. Mom? Mom, this is a problem, so it's this stuff. Mom, you're home from work now. Do you want to wash up or you want to keep sleeping? <laughs> it's just you guys, it's everything. What does that mean? Just everything, the way everything is. 
What, you liked it better when we were kids? Everybody taking drugs, people killing each other? Nobody having any respect for anything? No, I hate it when you talk like that. You sound like you're trying to get an A from teacher. She just graduated with... If I do any more dancing, the vice president's gonna have to clear his schedule. If anything's going to save us from earning less than mom, and sharing the same room, until we die, it's this. Unless you think they're gonna be giving out jobs for Christmas. In case you're wondering, that three-carat cabochon ruby on the First Lady's necklace is on lo- Monkey Shines will be back after this message from Operation Helping Hand, making your hard choices a little easier. And they all come with a five-year guarantee. I can get you a great deal on some very nice land in Florida. What are you so worried about? I got protection. Don't be fooled. The only way to play it safe is not to play at all. In response to the unprecedented massing of troops on the 16th parallel, the president took time out for tonight's revelry to warn that the United States will not hesitate to use any means at its disposal to ensure the security and the freedom of its allies in the region. Pentagon sources report that all forces in the crisis... Simon, move it. The auto shop set up. Lenny, drive. What are you doing? Keeping you right where I can see you. Not saying you're out of trouble yet, but at least you were the good guys. Welcome to the Quarantine Express. <gasps> All right, anybody here tattooed yet? Because if you are, we cannot help you. Mm -mm. No. Okay, pull out, Lenny. Well, they were moving. Forty-five minutes, they would have had you in quarantine. You're safe now. But forget about going home, because that's the first place they're going to look. Right now, we just got to get you out of here. And then what? Now I'm out of apartment. We have safe houses. Not the Hilton Hotel, but they're better than where you were. <laughs> Careful not to breathe too deep around these guys. Can't you get it that way? Don't you read the government reports? Perplexing mystery. Nobody knows for sure. Isn't that what they said? The only way you can get this disease is straight into your bloodstream. One way or another. Oh, please call my grandma. I want to know I'm all right. No phone calls. We'll get a message to you when it's safe. There's cops behind you. A block away. Lenny, move it. You took the wrong fucking ramp, Lenny. The wagons are on the other side. But what was I supposed to do? Never get across that. Please tell me this isn't happening. Don't even think about going back down. That cop's still sniffing around. Back up the van. One hand right in front of the other. That's right. Doing great. Didn't know you had a date tonight. Wait over there. Over there. There you go. No 
head. Right one hand in front of the other. These cops keep hanging around. I don't get it, man. Lost that other guy. I know right you across. did. Let him pull out! Don't move. Very slowly. No, I, I, I can't move. Guess you'd rather stick around and wait for the bomb to go off. What bomb? The thing I was doing back there, setting my alarm clock. Don't look down! Look at me! It's, it's gonna break. The ladder's gonna break. What's your name? you what your name was. Blue. Don't look down. Look at me. Look in my eyes, Blue. Don't look down. Look in my eyes. Just get up very slowly. You can trust me. Do you do this every night? What are you doing? You better wear a blindfold till we get where we're going. I'm not putting this disgusting thing on my face. There are doctors where we're going. Food, beds. You don't put that on, they don't get there. Well, we 
someplace they don't know about yet. Okay, bring him over here. Lay him down real careful. Okay. Now you just hang in there, mister. We'll make you as comfortable as you can be. You'll let my son go all right. All right. Just hold real steady. You okay? I think it would get a little easier. Uh, real sick. Mark it's new medicine. Stuff we smuggle in from Europe. Honey. Yeah. Pickle. Oh, man. Where am I taking you? 14 West 90th Street. Yeah, Hunt. She clocked in at 6.03. I don't want to hear about it. Me either. I want to hear about this. I don't get it. Did Lori get tested or didn't she? Why are you going through my things? Where did you get this from? Stop the presses. I'm only going to be a half hour late for work today. Did you have a good run? Mom's really impressed that you've taken up early morning jogging. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it's great. You know, it really gets the blood going. I don't have blood anymore. Just have coffee. You should eat something, Mom. Thanks. What's going on, Blue? Bucky, you... you know the stuff they keep telling us about the quarantine? How great it's supposed to be, all clean and happy and wonderful. Yeah. It's all lies. They lock these people up. They don't give them medicine. Where are you they getting won't let their this? families visit them. The quarantine has to be total. It's too much of a risk. And why can't they talk to anybody on the telephone? You tell me that. You tell me where you were last night. Listen to this. You have to hear this. Authorities attribute the hijacking of the ambulance to an unnamed group intent on causing panic in the city. While no suspects have been arrested, intelligence sources confirm that the terrorists plan to use the contaminated blood of the victims as a weapon in future operations. You know, I never thought I'd hear myself saying this, but I'm beginning to think that the only choice they have is to kill these people, like they did when it was drugs. I just don't know what else they can do. was applauded by lawmakers in the state capitol. Department of Public Health asks any citizen with information regarding the activities of this group to contact any member of your local home guard or call Operation Helping Hand. On the international scene, I know you like her. Otherwise, you wouldn't bother to be so mean to her. I remember you used to try that shit with my mom when you were going out with her. At least in those days, used to have a little privacy. Fine. I'll turn myself into the state. You mean any hot social workers, you get that number? Go downstairs. Torch? Yeah. Is my mom a good cook? Yeah, really, she was a good cook. And she could grow stuff, too, couldn't she? Radishes and stuff. I remember I used to help her water. Think we could start growing stuff again, Torch? Torch? She's not gonna get any more dead now. You watch your mouth! Look! She was my mom. I can talk about it if I want to. She's not gonna get any more dead if you sleep where it's clean, or eat regular food like a person, or be nice to some girl you like. She's as dead as she's gonna get. I hope you flunk your English test. Too late. It was yesterday. And I aced it. Lori, it was unbelievable. The way these people had been treated. 
When they get to quarantine, they put these tattoos on them, these big P's for positive, so they can track them down with radar. Do you swear to me that when all of this is over, you will forget this entire thing ever existed? I mean it, Blue. This is it. Right up that ramp. Come on. We fixed cars here, ma'am. You want a doctor? Find a hospital. They know me. I was here last night. I know it's behind that curtain. If you'll excuse me, I have a lot of work to do. Please, my friend needs somebody to give her the test. We don't want to go back to helping hand. Boss! I think maybe we should just go. No! Hey! I won't put you just for beds and medicine, hospital stuff. What is this? We just crossed the continental divide of Listen, weirdness. You want to take the test? Be under the 4th Street Bridge in an hour. Just the two of you. Anybody else shows up, this doesn't happen. No. 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 Come on. So who's this person that's such big emergency? Nobody. Just somebody I met in the park. All right, now. You just hold real steady. Are you sure this is sanitary out here? You mean without any magazines in the waiting room? In the Helping Hand Clinic where I work, we got all the white tile you could ever want. And I wouldn't go there to get my nose blown. You work for them? Not every double agent wears a trench coat. Somebody's coming. Not to worry, just our friendly mobile testing unit. Instant results are on the clock. I don't know if I'm ready for instant. Hi. Uh, the keys are in the cab, Anna. Equipment's running a little hot. Should be okay, though. What's his problem? Who cares? I ain't got no problem except for you yelling at me. I don't get this. What we went through last night, and then... Wait a minute. Did I get you pregnant and leave you by the roadside somewhere? I don't remember this. I am not talking about marriage here. I am talking about saying hello. Hello. I'm okay! Blue, I'm okay. She said it's just allergies or something. My mom's a night shift. We got some major celebrating to do. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, really. God, does it feel good to say I told you so? Blue! Blue! What? Look. Just because he's messed up doesn't mean we don't need all the help we can get. Is there any way somebody could get a hold of you ever? What do you mean, in case Mr. Hero needs someone to impress? Blue? Take care of yourself, okay? Hello. Aren't you gonna show up to your own party? You wanna be or something?
starting to wonder. It's that thing on your head. I guess you think everything in the world is just wonderful now. Fine. Maybe it's all true. Maybe all this terrible stuff is actually happening. But, Blue, you're crazy if you think that there is one thing that you or I or anybody else can do about it. I guess I don't see it that way. Just don't do anything stupid, okay? Please, I mean, really. Hey, guys, can I hear this? There's a mobilization of the forces that have been on alert since yesterday's unprovoked attack. We have acted decisively, and we have acted justly. We have acted because we cannot, we must not, allow tyranny to cast its evil shadow. We have acted because as long as one man is not free, no man is free. Hey, Blue. We could use an extra hand tonight. What, the regular girl calling sick? Look, I'm sorry. What do you want me to do? You want me to eat dirt? I'll eat dirt. That would be nice. Lori. Where's Blue? I don't know. Hey. Oh, hi, man. Use them, okay? The bleach, the needles, everything. Got anybody I could use this with? Not my department. Where the hell you been, man? Hey, Lily. Hey, Blue. Listen, Laurie, I need some help. And, uh, I don't know who else to turn to. Help with what? Is Blue having some sort of problem? Why would you think she was having a problem? Well, she seems so down these days, you know? That's too bad, because it's, it's so much to be up about. You know, things are really starting to come together. She's fine. She's perfectly happy. Hey, Laurie, how about this? If Blue is having some sort of problem, and the cops get wind of it, you're gonna wish real hard that you would let someone who was Blue's friend get her out of it.
before it was too late. Blue's fine. Okay. Can you believe that somebody would name their kid Drusilla? Criminal. It was after some aunt of my dad's. Oh, my mom turned it to Drew pretty fast. Bucky couldn't even say that. All he could say was blue. Guess kind of stuck. Hey, it's your turn. What's this for? For your face. Yeah. I got mine from Willie's mom. She hated her own name, Ellen. She said it sounded like someone who won prizes for their handwriting. I kind of liked it, but I said, okay, we should make up names for each other. Only you had to take the name you got given, period. No going back. We, uh, we wrote our names on the inside of matchbook covers, right? We switched, counted the three, and looked. <laughs> I don't know where she came up with it, but she put down Torch. I put down Ellen. <laughs> Nearly killed each other on the spot. What was your name before? I can't say. It was another part of the deal. Who was Willie's father? She got pregnant on the job. You know, she said meaning me got her out of the uh, trade, but truth is, Willie pretty much talked her out of it before I even came along. What happened to her? Sure, you have to tell me if you don't want to. was in the beginning. And when they first started taking people away, the whole world was sticking its fucking head in the sand. Oh, but not her, no. She had this crazy idea that sick people were supposed to get taken care of. She started making trouble, driving people up the wall. She wanted her bad. When they raided this place we were staying, she was the only one they took. The troublemaker. You know, one morning Willie wakes up and she's just not there anymore. The way I heard it, when she came up positive, they broke out the champagne. It meant this time they had it for good. No paperwork. Interested in what she could tell him about her secret terrorist network. And the doctors who were present knew how to be effective in their interrogation. Because uh because what the what the blood test also showed was uh that the subject was somewhere between three and five months pregnant. Patients in the quarantine tried to take care of her. But after being like that. <laughs> was it your baby?
Why don't you toss Willie's back? Did you know she was sick before she got caught? I call it denial. Sorry. Have you ever taken the test? Everybody's got these fucking calendars in their head. So you find out you got five years. So what do you do? Start Xing off the days in your date book, take the necessary precautions, and you go from there. But all that stuff that they say about nothing being hey, safe. Hey, George, you get anything for breakfast? Where's my shirt? Hey, you ever heard of knocking, man? I'm starving, man. Well, uh, we'll pick up a donut on the way to the bus. It's a grown boy. You can't give him donuts for breakfast. Get him the jelly kind. It's got fruit inside. Tell me you didn't actually say that. Well, don't wake me till Christmas. No, oh, no, no. You gotta get home before your brother gets up. No, he can go to hell. Very bad attitude. You got a cover to keep now. I do? Please, no bright eyed idealism before I get my coffee, all right? Morning, guys. Do you need a toothbrush, Blue? Don't worry. It's brand new. Thanks. On the right tracks, I'm feeling. 
Hey, Dad. You don't still hate me, huh? No, I don't hate you, Russ. I love you, Russell. details yet because there haven't been any every night with this guy for a month and I'm supposed to believe that that's right well I don't Lori when have I ever lied to you fifth grade Scott Berkowitz you promised me that you would never ever mention that again as long as you live how could you do it blue he smelled like pastrami <laughs> farts <laughs> actually it was more like corned beef when you got up close stop what are you looking at my watch for just want to see what time it was well, what's your hurry? We haven't had a normal conversation in a million years. I mean, come on. Why can't you put up posters a half an hour later? We're not exactly putting up posters today. What are you doing? I don't want to know. Don't tell me what I don't want. If I got caught or something, you'd be better off not knowing. Just tell me. I miss talking to you, Lou. I miss telling each other everything. I found out that there's this helping hand clinic in New Jersey that's closing tonight, and they're shipping everybody that they're holding to quarantine. And you're gonna rescue them on the way? Yeah, we're gonna get them into safe houses. These people you're rescuing them from, they don't have guns? Blue. We have guns, too, Lori. Blue, don't go, okay? Really, don't go. Just don't do it. It's 70 people. They're gonna lock them up and starve them. I just don't think, you know, if this guy really loved you, he wouldn't want you to be in all this danger all the time. It's not about him. It's just... I don't know. You, you get put on this planet, and what do you do with that? So what are you saying? You're telling me that I'm fucked up because I want to have a normal life? I'm not saying that. You know it. No, I don't. I don't know anything. I have no intentions of getting killed. Nobody ever does. I gotta go. So go. Call you tomorrow morning? You're gonna be late. Go on. Truck's coming in a little early, Torch. You better hurry up. No escort? Not that I can see. And I can see all the way to Canada. You got enough people down there for this? We got everybody we know out here, Willie. Now you stay low. Now, 
if you kindly drop your weapons and put your hands in the air. Now! Put it in the truck. Do it. How could they have found out? Somebody told them. Yeah, somebody who knew exactly what was coming down today. What are you saying? I'm saying somebody fucked us! Are you accusing me? Who else? She's been with Helping oh, Hands for my... Shut up! Shut up! Would you just shut up? Come on, we gotta get out of here before they come back. Safest ways under the highway. Let's go. Make you a deal. You give me the whereabouts of just one kidnap positive. We can all get some sleep. Does that hurt? One name, one address. Santa Claus. The North Pole. Safe houses. Addresses. Phone numbers. Hey! What? He won't be much use to you if he's dead. Okay. I'd kind of hold off on that for a minute if I were you. We just got the blood work in on this one, and, um, in a word, 
positive. Dead man. Fucking bastard! Looks like some clear skies ahead of the world. Enemy casualties are reported high and heavy fighting. The You're positive smoke good. following the Allied recapture of the road to the capital. We may not be what happened to Egan? Egan? What do you think happened to Egan? <laughs> Welcome to Tri-State Regional Quarantine. <laughs> Terrors out in the city. Channel 6 the young hero of the mass arrest. It's not just us who make these things happen, you see. It's also the, the fine, regular people out there who, who know what's wrong when they see it and they're not afraid to speak up about it, you know? Because, I, I mean, I don't care what kind of lineup you got. You ain't gonna win no football games if you ain't got the crowd out there. You know? <laughs> Sure, he has it. You think Anna would have said so? If she wasn't sure. Oh God, Blue. You didn't sleep with him ever, did you? Well, he's dead. What? Hunter shot. Him. He's dead. And we just buried him today. He swore he would do What? Who swore? What are you talking about? <laughs> Lori! What? What? Why are you looking at me like that? What did you do? You told him. You told Hunter I was so scared, Blue. I didn't want you to die or wreck your life. They... Listen, they promised me they weren't going to hurt anybody. Oh, they no. swore. Come back here. Blue, Blue, wait, I need to talk to you. Wait, talk to you, talk to you. when we should be very careful with how we use our energies. Energies? Hey, Blue. Blue, wait a minute. We have to decide about stuff. What stuff? Everything. Planning stuff. Getting everybody back on track. I can't believe you're just going to let it all go to pieces.
okay. It's okay. It's me. How did you find me? I followed you. The other night. Wait. I swear to you, I did not have anything to do with the raid. Fine. You were just following orders and God forgives you. Why would you go away? I found you a way to see him. The guy you were with. What? I don't know what else I can do. I can't get him out. I can't stop what's happening. Nobody can get into quarantine. Yeah. It's all just money and connections like everything else. But you gotta meet the driver in half an hour and forget it. Money? What, what money? Guess who just got elected treasurer of your local home guard? Jesus, Bucky. After Hunter kills you, what do I do for a brother? If you hate me for the rest of my life, what do I do for a sister? Don't let anybody get a close look at that thing. When I get inside, how will I find it? Usually they take the new arrivals to the helm's wing. Okay. I make my delivery, take care of my business. Back where I dropped you off at 6, 6.05. Now you hear that clock bell ringing, you get down there. You don't show up. She doesn't show up what? They find out that the tattoo's fake. They shoot her on the spot. Jesus. Do you have a watch? Yeah. Better synchronize. What time do you have? 2.47. Now, the drop-off's gonna be around the corner on White Street, about 6.30. Come on, set your watch. I will when I get in. You don't have a watch. Don't be crazy. Bye, Bucky. Tell Mom I love her. Luke, don't do this! friend of yours. Come here. 
They'll shoot you. No, no, don't talk. Don't, don't say anything. Watch the blood. What did they do to you? Did they get Willie? Torch. His body. Did they get his body? Come on, sit on the bed. Come. What? I want to get the shower fluid filthy. Come on. Counterfeit black market special. You know how fast that thing's gonna peel off. She wasn't negative anymore. Came here to off yourself. I came here to be with you. Oh. Come on. You've got your whole life to live. Don't tell me what I got. Blue. We never got to go to the movies. I never got to go out for breakfast. Next squad, check up time. Get to the door or I'm coming in. Get to the Get to the door. Back off. Back, back off. Okay. You know what to do. Come on, lift the arms all the way, all the way. Shorts, too. Come on, turn around. What's that? Some more we've been through this. Crack a smile. All right, you're clean. What's that? It's a hooker. I got a hook up here. Oh, you got Chinese food up here, too? Yeah, you know how it is. Oh, yeah? Get her out here. Come on! Hey, come out here. Hey, bitch! I'm, I'm coming up. I just hurt my leg. You okay? Yeah. What do you care? Never seen you before. Yeah, she just got cute a couple of hours ago. Working fast, huh? Show me your leg. Come, you move out of the way, huh? Can't see it good. Can you see it now? Very nice. I see it all right. Show me your tits. What? Hey, I'm here. I might as well kill two birds, huh? Now show me your tits. Sorry. No, no. I want him to do it. Show me your tits. Come on.
Rob him. Don't mister me. She's here after curfew. She ain't even on my list. You two ain't got any symptoms yet. Hardly ever get that. Now, rub her tits. Come on. No, not there. Not there. Tits. Come on. Rub them. Rub them. Be right out. See you two tomorrow. You got it. Sit your eye here. I want you to go down this ladder, and I want you to cut through by emergency down there. That'll take you right to receiving. Come on. I'm not going. Well, you want to go through that shit again? I want to stay here with you. And finish what I started. Yeah. Yeah. Put your dress back on and go back. What? What? What do I do? You live. Whatever that means, you live. Can't just live. Not with me. Without, without love. Come on, Torch. We can live as good as we can for as long as we can. We can grow old together, even if that doesn't take so long. We can fix up the place. We can, we can see if we can get some paint somewhere. We're going to have to be careful on how we make it look, because in a hundred years, we're going to be bringing people through here on guided tours. Behind the velvet rope over there, some some lady with blue hair is going to be given a lecture on how Torch, the father of the resistance, lived in this humble room. Died in this humble room. Not alone. What's <laughs> All right. I'm going as long as you tell me one thing. <laughs> tell me that you don't want me here. No, no. For real. And you tell me that you want to be alone. When you're going blind and your head is swelling up with sores. Tell me that you want me to be alone when I know what's happening to you. I'm outside picking Pepsi cans out of the trash. I can't kiss your forehead. I'll bring you a glass of water. Or help you to go to the bathroom when you can't get out of bed. Tell me that's what you want them out the window. Say it! All right, you tell me this. You tell me how I'm supposed to sit here 
And watch you lose 80 pounds and spit up mucus till you die. But what I did to you. As messed up as this place may be, it's still a hospital. And that means pharmaceuticals. So? So if it gets too bad, we could just go to sleep. A light dinner. Four grams of second all. Two each. Just go to sleep. from the printers under the bridge to pick up the new deaf mute cards. It doesn't matter. There's no one to do anything with them anyway. There's you. No. You got two minutes, Blue. I'm not going. She would have been back by now. No, there might be traffic. The bridge might be closed. Yes, pigs might fly. You, you asked me this whole thing's a trap. What are we trusting this guy for anyway? Because he's a brother. Come on, Steve. Torch okay? He's okay. Where are they keeping They didn't hurt him? Did they tattoo him yet? Look, can we do the press conference later? Right now we got a lot to figure out. Like who's gonna go meet that guy from the printers up at the bridge? If you need me to do We need you to do. Is go be an upstanding member of the home guard. Starting with getting the roll call on time. Going to hell. Bad attitude. You've got a cover to keep. They both do. Well, I can handle the cards. Okay. I think we owe him 20 more dollars. Do me a favor. Don't talk the guys you're off. Just get the cards and come back. Many well, rivers we'll need to, to figure throw. out now is how we're going to start covering the clinics again. But I can't clinic. seem to find yeah, yeah. my yeah. way.